And now I, I made a complete video series just to give y'all some background on women who have hit the wall. I did about five videos and I did two extra videos. One I ended up putting on private. The other one is public. And it was about, uh, what was that about? Single mothers, I believe. No, no, no. It was one about single mothers. And it was one about women on Facebook, I believe. And in that video series, I wanted to highlight how, you know, women get to a certain age. And they should not be out there demanding a certain type of guy, especially if they have children. Oh, you did MD Wild? That's how you found my channel? Well, that's cool, bro. And you have women who are older, they have children, they done been divorced, and they're still out there thinking that they can date like they did before they were married or before they had children, before they gained that extra weight. You know, before the look started to fade, like Holly Berry. Holly Berry's in her 50s, and she's still dating younger men, then, then leaving the relationship. She done been married a couple times. It still hasn't worked. And what they have to understand is men of today don't care how attractive you are. They're still not going to put a ring on your finger, especially if you can get the milk for free. If you can get the milk for free, you're not going to put a ring on a finger. But you got all these women on Instagram over the hill. The only thing they have right now is a big ass. That's it. That's the only thing they have. It's the only thing they have. And they think that that's going to get one of these dudes who are either an athlete or entertainer, businessman, to put a ring on it. It ain't going to happen. But they still act like they got all these options. You don't have any options. And just like this sister told me, this, this black female, she told me this recently. She said a lot of women... Uh, who was talking about dating and, and women settling, she said, and I, I said, you know, women, a lot of these females are ending up with men that they don't want to be with. And she was like, that's true. Because who else, is, who else is with them? You know? When you got dudes chasing females for, ye for one year, two years, and he finally gets with her, it's because she doesn't have anybody else. She doesn't have anybody else. That's why men pursue women for months and then the woman finally gets with him because she doesn't have anybody else. Nobody is trying to wife her. Persistence does pay off with certain women. It does because they, again, these men are not taking them seriously and you're going to see it more in 2018. But these women better humble themselves or they are going to be single for a very long time. Okay? They're going to be even more bitter. Okay? <laughs> you know? They might start chasing behind, you know, when their sons, you know, their sons get older, you know, and, you know, their sons, you know, uh, they might start pursuing their sons' uh, friends or their daughter's boyfriends. That's how bad it's going to get for certain females. That's how bad it's going to get. It's already like that, probably. Because these guys, listen, especially black men, they are not getting married in 2018. They're not getting into a lot of relationships these years. That window is closing. It's probably already closed. And the, the closest that a lot of these females are going to get to a relationship is, is basically that dream that was sold to them. That's the closest they're going to get to it. And they don't understand it. They don't understand that being sold a bill, a bill of goods, man. And you know, and I said this. I said there's a reason why these females don't show their boyfriends. Because they are ashamed of them. They don't want to be alone. So they settle for this simp. 
who chased them for months and probably years. But he was able to get out that friend zone. <laughs> and usually it was money. What happens is if that guy can give her money, eventually she's going to start dating him. But she ain't going to want nobody to know that they're dating that guy because she don't want people knowing that she's dating the town simp. Because we all know the town simp. The guy who's always flirting with women. The guy who's always trying to spend money on women. And this female done fell for the town simp. Yep, Abby, you got Claudia Jordan. She's one of these females, these older females that can't keep a man. Melissa Ford, they can't get a man, no matter if they date in or outside their race. They still can't get a man. And what's interesting that both of those women still have an attractiveness to themselves. But the problem is, is that they don't know how to choose them. They're choosing men who are financially dependent, men who they only find physically attractive, but that's it. He has no substance. He's there to get sex or money or whatever from her. And if you're in your late 30s, early 40s, at some point, you got to stop dating those types of men, man. So you, you have to be able to let that go. How long are you going to allow yourself to be manipulated and used? Like, how long? All right, Shelly, good night. How long are you going to allow yourself to be used? What's going on, Nick Taylor? And I will say this, though. The red pill is spreading. I think the red pill is going mainstream, but it's not going to be what we interpret it as. It's going to be in the actions and the behaviors of the, the same men who a lot of these women are pursuing. This, this is why these women will sit there and be side chicks to these dudes. They will be side chicks to them because, for the most part, they desperately want to be with that guy for whatever reason. For whatever reason, they desperately want to be with this guy. It's not like he's bringing anything of substance to the situation. What's going on, Mick Hunter? The actions and the behaviors. Selling women dreams. Shout out to Empty Wallet says word. And these women are going to try to figure out everything they can to bring us back to the plantation. And we are not going to go back. We're not going to go back. It's a wrap for you thoughts. It's a wrap for you. It's over. Okay? You out here acting like celebrities because you have a you have wide hips and a big butt and you have a million followers. But in actuality, you're just another female who these guys can sell a dream to. Anybody with common sense understands that the best way to get a woman's attention is to have fame and some money. One of the two. You can fool a woman into thinking that you're famous. I, I saw a prank video of this. This guy pretended like he was famous. He had someone approach him and want an autograph, and the female automatically thought he was celebrity and didn't do any facts. Not facts, damn, I'm saying facts. Didn't do any fact checking. She took his word for it. Oh, this female approached him? He really must be famous. I think it was a dude. Yeah, I think it was a dude that approached him. Yeah. 
and she didn't look in her phone and try to figure out who he was. She went off of visuals. That's how these women get fooled so easily. That's why the dreams are sold to them. If a guy recognizes within 10, 15 seconds the type of woman that he's dealing with, he'll know how to manipulate her. And that's how dudes do it, you know? A dude could be completely broke, but if he knows that she likes jewelry and things of that nature, he's going to probably himself have a bunch of jewelry on. Or he'll talk about how, you know, he makes this amount of money. You know, anyone that said some red pill shit on her show. Oh, she did Three Little Birds? What did she say? What did Wendell Williams say? Let me tell you something about Melissa Ford. I see y'all keep putting her name in the chat room. Melissa Ford is a type of woman who still believes that she isn't. She's a no. Let me see. She still believes that she's top notch. She still believes that a Prince Harry is gonna come and and rescue her. What's going on, China White? She still believes that a Prince Harry is gonna marry her. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she still believes that a Jay Z is gonna come wife her up. Now, mind you, this is an aging video vixen. What's up, Jr? This is an aging video vixen. Oh, yeah, lottery guru. <laughs> you can fool some of these people into believing anything. All you need to do is have one or two other people visually show them that, okay, this person is famous. But you're not doing any fact checking whatsoever. They are Cardell. A lot of them listen to her because they think that she has this great lifestyle. No, she does not. She does not have a great lifestyle. She talked about how she had to encourage her husband to go out there and make more money. So, so she didn't walk into a situation where he had this great, you know, wealthy, successful lifestyle. She had to motivate him, man. But you got people who are going to listen to her because she shows a lot of confidence in what she's saying. She shows confidence because she doesn't have to prove nothing to y'all. She ain't got to prove nothing. She don't have to prove anything. So what she going to do and, and other women like her, they're going to give bad advice that these women are going to try to follow and they're going to fail at it. Now, she says she has success stories. A lot of these gold digger advice givers have good advice that may work here and there but when you are a female you have the opportunity to get with pretty much any guy that you're interested in all you have to do is act feminine all you have to do is understand what that guy wants yeah ricky e she does melissa ford definitely thinks that she's perfect but she's not that's why she's single okay she <laughs> She bragged about dating this white dude, I guess, who was a businessman for like three months. She bragged about dating this dude for three months. <laughs> and I'm saying to myself, you can't make it work with black men or white men. You need to rethink your whole dating strategy. Rethink your whole dating strategy because it ain't working. You got to come up with something different, man. So you're going to have the women who are giving bad advice to these women. You got women on social media over the age of 40. They got children who are adults and they're still trying to get flown out by rappers. They still trying to get flown out by rappers family. <laughs> You got females here on YouTube trying to relive their past, man. <laughs> what 
when they used to be out there attention thought and shit, man, it's over for you too. <laughs> It's over for you. It's a wrap. Y'all need to listen to Sierra and level up. <laughs> because the route y'all taking is not going to get you a husband. It's going to get you with some um, out of wedlock children. It's going to get you into some dysfunctional relationships. And it's going to have you looking stressed and bad out here. You're going to be aging as badly as Angela Rye. <laughs> you gonna, these chicks are going to be out here aging bad, worse than she is. Exactly, freelance. Nobody's trying to buy a plane ticket for a female who's over the hill. Okay. A female who who has to babysit her grandkids. <laughs> who everything is sagging, no matter how many angles that she tries to put the photos in. Dudes is not trying to fly you out. It's, it's over. <laughs> it's over. But they still trying to get flown out one last time. They be putting up pictures from 20 years ago. When they got. <laughs> they <laughs> man, they putting up pictures from them in the club 20 years ago, man. It's like, come on, man. 20 years ago, you putting up photos from 20 years ago. You try to put up photos next to your adult daughter who looks five times better than you. You sitting up there looking like her. You sitting up there looking like her mammy. <laughs> Get out the picture. Shout out to Lottery Gurus. Say, Jay, keep doing your thing, bro. I appreciate that, man. I'm telling you, man. A lot of you chicks need to listen to Sierra. Level up. You know, learn to love yourself. Stop being such a self-hater and self-doubter. Stop listening to gold digger advice givers. And maybe you'll find a guy who will um, give you a better lifestyle than what Pookie, Ray Ray, and Guan is doing. <laughs>